Hey guys, Callum here from 3D Tomorrow. In today's video, I'm going to be creating a skipping rope using 3D printing or jump rope if you're American. Let's go. So I'm actually going to be using the files that I found on Thingiverse. This is a design by MakerBot. It's called the MakerBot Jump Rope. This design is created using a chain which can weave back and forth along the bed to create a fairly decent sized skipping rope. Uh, the best thing about 3D printers and additive manufacturing in general is that a chain can be printed completely without any post assembly, which is pretty awesome. Uh, what this means is you just print the chain pieces interlocking one way and the other way like that on the bed and you end up with a chain that doesn't need anything doing to it when you take it off. For this video I'm going to be using up some of my leftover filaments but I will still try and make the piece look as cool as possible so let's put it onto print and see what we end up with. So the prints are done and I must say, look absolutely awesome. This chain in black and orange is just one of my favorite color schemes. I really, really love the way it looks. Uh, really cool. One of my first pairs of football boots was black and orange and ever since then, I've just loved the colors together. Uh, what was also really good about this is the orange filament run out exactly halfway through. So you can see down the side that it is perfectly half black half orange. The handle just got here in white. I'm going to remove them now uh, and remove the chain now, clean it all up, put it together then we'll see how it works. Right so we've got our jump rope here, just snap these off the bird. And these parts use an interlocking circle method. Uh, which is a bit like a deodorant roll-on can, uh, but it's really cool actually. So this little hole just drops out the bottom and that will allow us to attach the uh, jump rope chain straight onto it, which is pretty awesome. Also the fact that it spins around like that means that the stress on that first piece is going to be massively lower. Um, which is one of the things I was initially worried about before I realised that it had this cool little orbital thing. Same on this one, if it moves. There was actually a power cut during this print, so I had to restart it and it looks like that's given it a little bit of trouble. Yeah, the only issue I would say with the design is the fact that it needs supports. Um, you can design a chain without supports, so it's a bit annoying. Right, I think I might have made this a bit too big. Brilliant. Time lapse cleanup time. Then take the handles and use these separately printed little clips to attach the chain to the handles. This was absolutely nightmare to try and do. Uh, I've probably got two fat fingers, but there we go. We got there in the end and attached the chain as well. And voila! So, having now cleared off the chain, I realize it's absolutely bloody massive. Uh, I actually doubled the size because I was thinking it seemed way too short. 
uh, but wasn't thinking that of course the chain was printed like that with the parts joined together and then obviously once you've removed the support and taken it off the bed it expands to almost twice the distance and so the chain is resultantly almost twice as long but you know everything happens for a reason if i hadn't have done that then i wouldn't have got this cool uh black and orange effect because there would have been enough orange filament to print the chain in one go so you know silver linings um and what I'm going to have to do now is chop it down, but at least I've got enough chain to play with to make this exactly the right length. Breaker of chains. And now we've got two of them. ready to try out. So I'm not going to do it in here because there's not enough room. I will wait till the next time I go to the gym. So yeah, now I am in the gym as you can see. I've done a comparison shot with the 3D printed skipping rope on the left and a normal skipping rope on the right just so you can see how they measure up. I did find that the extra weight in the 3D printed skipping rope made it a little bit harder to get going fast. As you can see here, I couldn't quite get the speed that I was able to with a conventional rope, but you never know, this might just come with practice. But apart from this, pretty much everything else that I could do with a conventional skipping rope, I was able to do with the 3D printed skipping rope, which I'm pretty amazed about to be honest considering it's a hard plastic. Uh, there was just one slight issue, however, wait for it, and bam, there it is there. Uh, yeah, it's a brittle plastic, and so any impact with me, not ideal. Bang. And we have a broken rope. So, yeah, that uh, didn't quite go to plan. And as you saw, my rope shattered and is now in two parts. But I was pretty impressed with the rope. It worked quite well. Um, as you can see, most of the things I was doing with the skipping worked just as well as a normal rope. Uh, just was a bit of a stupid choice printing it in PLA, which, you know, is, is brittle uh, when it comes to being hit with hard forces especially when it's got some idiot jumping on it. Um, if this had been printed in TPU I actually think it would have worked flawlessly and uh, it's actually gave me more of a workout using it because it's sort of you have to work your hands harder to make it rotate uh, than a conventional sort of speed skipping rope. So yeah no I definitely recommend giving this a print if you're happy to do it in TPU. Uh, I'm actually going to modify the file as well so that you can print it without any supports and I will put a link to this uh, in the description eventually when I get around to this it might not be straight away. Um, but yeah, no, if anyone wants me to do it, drop me a message in the comments and make sure that I get a move on. Uh, since I'm not gonna be skipping with this again, because you know, it could happen again. And if I was in a room with multiple people, having a rope shatter everywhere probably wouldn't be the best thing for their gym session. Uh, so I'll turn it into something else. Any recommendations, then drop them in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, then feel free to subscribe. That would be great. If you have any comments, good or bad, chuck them below. I would love to hear. Still an early channel, so I'm hoping to improve where possible. Uh, yeah, see you next time.